Hey, what's up guys? John McLennan here. Hope you're having a great day and welcome to my studio. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about how to comp over a 12 bar blues in the key of F using some basic rhythm chords. Now this blues just uses a 1, 4, and 5 in the key of F. That's going to be F7, B flat 7, and C7. And I'm going to show you how I would play through it just doing some rhythm. The song is Back at the Chicken Shack by Jimmy Smith featuring Kenny Burrell on guitar. Now I do have a lesson on this song already up on YouTube that goes through how to play the melody. So if you want to learn that, check that video out as well. And then this one is going to be covering rhythm for that song. But before we get into the lesson, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and make sure to hit subscribe. If you're new here, we post brand new guitar lessons every single day on the channel. And the goal of this channel is to reach as many people as possible and help the world get better at guitar. So really appreciate your guys' support. All right, with that said, let's get into the lesson. All right, let's break it down. We're going to be playing three chords in the key of F. We're going to be using an F7, a B flat 7, and a C7. This is a very simple rhythmic approach that takes the chords and the shapes that I'm playing here are based on what I call just the essential tones of the chord. So that's going to be the third and the seventh. So if we take an F chord and we find the third of that, it's going to be an A. And then the seventh, we're going to use the flat seven. This is going to be the note E flat here. So I have those two notes. And then I'll also include the root. So it's a three note chord. I'm playing the eighth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the D string, and eighth fret on the G string. And I'll use these fingers two, one, three. And this is a great blues chord, you know. A lot of blues players would use that. Stevie Ray Vaughan used this chord a lot. Now there's a lot of muting going on when you strum this chord. You don't want any open strings. So we're muting the low E, the B, and the high E. bars of that F7 and then we're going to go to a B flat 7. And to play this chord put your first finger on the sixth fret of the low E and then we're going to mute the A string, put our second finger on the sixth fret of the D string and third finger on the seventh fret of the G string. Now you can use the fingers one, two, three, like I'm using here. A lot of times though, I'll use these fingers as well, just as an alternate. This is gonna be second finger, third finger, pinky, but on those same notes. So sometimes if I was doing, let's say I was playing a bigger chord, like a 13 chord, then I would use this fingering. But a lot of times I'll just play this fingering which is very comfortable. So we're gonna play two bars there of B flat seven, and then back to two bars of F seven. Then we're gonna finish the last four bars here, a bar of C seven, a bar of B flat seven, and then two bars of F seven. Now this C seven chord is the same exact thing as this B flat seven, it's just two frets higher. This is going to be 8 on the low E, 8 on the D string, and 9 on the G string. Remember to keep muting. We don't want any open strings on these chords. That gives you just a nice, tight, movable shape that you can actually play 
on any fret. As long as you know where that root note is, then you're gonna have a dominant seventh chord. So this is gonna be a C7. If I move it down, it's gonna be a B flat seven. So just to recap all our chords, we've got F7, B flat seven, and C7, which would be our one, our four, and five in the key of F. Now, we're gonna put these into our 12 bar blues chord progression. So four bars of F7, two bars of B flat seven, then two bars of F7, then a bar of C7, a bar of B flat seven, and then finishing with two bars of F7. Now with the rhythm here, we're gonna play just a straight four rhythm like this. A one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. These are quarter notes. Now as I play that chord, I'm doing a pressure and release on the chord. So instead of letting it ring like this, I'm gonna keep it nice and tight and play a one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two. Then go to B flat seven. Then back to F seven. Then C seven. Quick down to B flat seven. F7. Let's try it again. Here's the top and the one chord. Then the four chord. Then the one chord. Then the five chord. Then the four chord. And back to the one. Now I've played this into my looper pedal so you can hear that at the tempo of the song. It's a little faster. There's your F7. Now one thing that I like to do is just to spice it up a little bit. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three. A lot of times on beat four, I might just drop the chord. It could either go down a half step or it could go up a half step. And then, so I can approach any chord by a half step above or a half step below. And that's a cool sound like this. Step below. And then. Then, of course, I did the chromatic walk down there. From the five down to the four that we've heard on so many records. Five down to four, then back to one. So let's check out what this sounds like when I play the melody. Which, by the way, if you're interested in learning the melody, I have another lesson. I'll link it up down below, just going through the melody for this song. But let's hear it together. So when we've got that rhythm backing it up, and then we play the melody on top, or if somebody wanted to solo, that would be what you would do, is just play some rhythm behind behind the solo or the melody. Here we go, Here, here's our tempo. Get that in our head, a one, two, three, four, a one.
There you go, guys. That's a comping breakdown on Back at the Chicken Shack by Jimmy Smith. I hope you got some value out of today's lesson. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to check out the other video that's like a second part to this lesson that goes over the melody. Also, if you're interested in soloing, before you go, I've got a free gift for you in the description below. You can get a PDF that's over 100 pages long that's all about soloing. It's a book I wrote called Melodic Expressions, and you can buy it for $15 on the iTunes bookstore, or you can get it for free in the description below as my gift to you. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.